Focus Pack Squad, welcome to another video. And before we get started, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload and like and subscribe. Let's get started. Hope you enjoy. Okay. So today I'm reading you guys a book. I'm not really a good reader, so if you don't like it, I apologize. We're reading. Da 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 da. Isadora Moon Goes to School. Half fairy, half vampire, totally unique. It's by Harriet Munkaster. Chapter 1. Isadora Moon, that's me. Pink Rabbit and I have lots of fun together. My mom is a... My mom is a fairy. My... Yeah, she's a fairy. Yes, really. She likes gardening, swimming in wild streams, having a magical fan... Having magical campfires and sleeping outdoors under the stars. My dad is a vampire. He's a vampire, yes, really. He likes staying up all night eating only red food, tomatoes, yuck. Gazing at, and gazing at the night st sky with his special telescope. And flying in front of a full moon. Then there's my little sister. Baby Honey Blossom. She's a half fairy, half vampire, just like me. She likes sleeping, gurgling, and drinking pink milk. Pink Rabbit and I do everything together. He was my favorite stuffed animal. So Mom can't spell, cast a spell to make him alive. And this is our house. That's my bedroom at the top of the tallest tower. So it's um, a black and pink, like, castle, kind of. And it looks, like, really cool. And then the mom has, like, a little gar gardening house. It's super cool. I can see the whole town from my window. Pink Rabbit is mostly not allowed to look out the window because he likes jump jumping off things too much. He thinks he can fly like me. He can't fly. Chapter 2 Every morning I watch the human children walking down the road to school. They wear, fu they wear funny looking uniforms with striped ties. And even though the children look very friendly, and even though they look like they are having fun, it makes me glad that I'm a vampire fairy. Because vampire fairies don't have to go to school. Or so I thought. Yesterday evening, evening, I was practicing flying my loop, loop-de-loops outside my bedroom window when my dad called me from downstairs. Isadora, he said, breakfast time. Dad always had his breakfast even ready at 7 o'clock at night because he sleeps during the day. My mom has hers in the morning. This means I usually have two breakfasts and don't mind... Because peanut butter and jelly on toast is my favorite thing to eat. I mean, I'd agree with that, would you guys? But I don't like peanut butter because, like, I'm allergic. Not really allergic, but I don't like it so much that I'm allergic. Mm, let's see, where were we? And on toast is my favorite thing to eat. I don't usually have two breakfast. But, I'm oh sorry, so sorry. Dad was sitting at the table drinking a glass of his special red smoothie juice. It, I think it's disgusting. I do not like red food, especially tomatoes. I know where there are tomatoes in Dad's special red smoothie. One day you'll enjoy like a real vampire, he says to me. All vampires love red food, but I know I won't. I'm only half vampire after all. Mom was there, too, opening the kitchen windows to let the fresh air come in. And a bunches of flowers and vases were smelling like very beautiful, like a cake just went out of, came out of the oven. And a tree was growing from the middle of the floor. Mom just loves to bring the outdoors inside. Honey Blossom was fussing in her high chair because she... I dropped her little bottle on the floor. 
I picked it up for her and filled it with some more pink milk. She hates red juice just like me. Dad said, Isadora, it's, it's time that you have to start school. But Dad, I said, I'm a vampire fairy. I do not need to go to school. Even fairies have to go to school, said Mom. Vampires, too, added Dad. But I don't want to go to school, I said. I have a perfectly busy and fun life at home with Pink Rabbit. But you might enjoy enjoy it, insisted Dad. I used to love my vampire school as a young boy. And I adored my fam- fairy school, said Mom, spooning some flower nectar yogurt into her bowl. You'll have a wonderful time, they both smiled. I wasn't so sure. But I'm not a full fairy, I said. And I'm not a full vampire. So which sh- school would I go to? Is there one especially for vampire fairies? Is there a school for me? Well, no, said Mom. Not exactly. You are very rare, said Dad, sucking at his sh- sucking his straw with a with a paper straw. But very special, added Mom. I think fairy school would suit you perfectly. But of course you may prefer vampire school, said Dad. It's a lot more exciting. It is? asked Mom, sounding as though she did not agree at all. How about we let her decide for herself? Pink Rabbit jumped up and down in agreement. Isadora can spend one day at fairy school and one night at vampire school and decided which one she likes best. But, I began, Fantastic idea, idea, said Dad. Well, okay, I said in a small voice. I suddenly didn't want to eat breakfast anymore. I told Pink Rabbit, Pa. I took Pink Rabbit's paw and walked slowly back up to the stairs to my bathroom, bedroom, thinking it was very hard, thinking very hard the whole way. Which school would I like? Would you like to go to, Pink Rabbit? I asked. Vampire or fairy? He didn't say anything because he can't talk, but he looked at me with his beady black eyes and gave an extra little bounce. A rabbit school, I replied. I don't think those exist. When we got to my room, we had a tea party with my special bat patterns tea set. Having a tea party always helps me think better. We didn't have any real tea, so we put glitter in the teacups instead, and Pink Rabbit got it all over his nose. You will have to learn how to be more civilized once we are at school, I told him. I know they are very strict about manners at vampire school. Pink Rabbit looked a little ashamed, so I patted his head and brushed the glitter off his nose. It doesn't matter, we said. He said, "We always go to. We will go to very fairy school instead. I think they're more easygoing there." Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not really a good reader. <laughs> um, I think they are more easygoing there. Pink Rabbit seemed to like that idea. Also, I added. I bet they eat more cake at fairy school. <laughs> they might even have carrot cake. Pink Rabbit bounced up and down with excitement. Even though he can't really eat food, he likes to pretend. Carrot cake is his favorite. I stood up and went to bed and went and dreamed about some of what, what school I would like to go to. Then when I woke up, I chose to go to both schools and see which one I wanted, just like my parents said. I brushed my teeth, and I took a shower, and then I went to fairy school. Also, I ate breakfast on the way. I flew to school. It was really cool, and the whole thing was super pink. And then, all we did was, here's our schedule, actually. 9 o'clock, a.m. lesson, one hand waving, 10.30, a.m. break, 10.30, break time, 11 o'clock, lesson 2, 12.30, lunch time, 2 o'clock, lesson 3, 
4 o'clock home time. That was really, really fun. But I don't think, I don't know which one I would choose. And then, when it became nighttime, I got all ready for to go to vampire school. And I really liked it. After I got back, we tried flying. It was super fun. Um, after, like when we had breakfast, I ate, I ate, of course, my favorite, peanut butter and jelly on toast. And I had to make a big decision. And I chose the school to go to. Here's the one I chose. I choose to go to both of them, Isadora said. Ma- her mom said, yay, fairy school tomorrow. Her dad said, I knew you would like it, my love. And then she went to bed after she ate and thought about how good of a day she had. Okay, guys, that is the end of the book. Two chapters. I like that book. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. But sadly, that is the end of this video. Sadly, I'm not a good reader, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really do. And don't forget to subscribe, because once we get to 20 subscribers, we will do kind of a little face reveal and a giveaway for a train. Train. Bye, guys.